Okay, everybody, it's day number seven. We are here at the end of our drawing course, but not our drawing journey. So today we're gonna to take all six shapes and we're gonna put them together into a design. So there are so many designs you can come up with with these six shapes, like so many designs, but I'm just gonna show you one flower. So today on the worksheet, I'm going to show you the flower and I'm going to explain where the shapes are on that flower. And then you can go ahead and go into your own sketchbook or grab a piece of paper. You can try drawing that flower and you can try drawing lots of different ideas. So let's take all six shapes, the circle, the teardrop petal, the curved petal, the diamond leaf, the wavy leaf, and the heart, and let's see what we can come up with in a flower design. So grab your pen and pencil and print out your worksheet and let's get going. So our worksheet today looks a little different. We don't have all the little shapes to trace out. This one is about what we can do with the shapes so you can take it into your own sketchbook on your own piece of paper and practice it there. So how did I go about worksheet number seven to make the flower? Here we have the six shapes that went into this flower design. So over to the left here, I have the shapes circle, teardrop, curved petal, diamond leaf, wavy leaf, and the heart petal. And then up at the top, I show you where each of the shapes are showing up in the flower. Now these are all very simple shapes. And perhaps as you've been going through this course, you're thinking these shapes are just too simple. But these are just a few of the shapes that make the basis of some much more complex designs. Once you've learned how to make these basic shapes and you draw them over and over again, they will start to evolve with your style into something that is uniquely yours as you draw. Whenever I find myself getting frustrated with the design because it's not working out the way I wanted, or if I'm just plain stuck, I stop and take a breath, and then I come back to these basic shapes that I am familiar with and then allow it to evolve into the design that is often something much better than I had imagined. So keep this worksheet to the side and use your piece of paper, whether you overlap it or whether it's in your sketchbook, so that you can see these shapes right in front of you. And then you can draw your own design and your own flower. Thank you for taking the time to join this course and draw along with me. Feel free to drop me a line and let me know how it went for you. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you're posting some of your drawings on social media, be sure to tag me. I would love to see how things are going. Have fun drawing and we'll see you soon.